Uh, this is the real haters. It's Rich, aka Mr. RKR. This is Rom, Jocelyn, and uh, Jebediah. Jebediah, Jericho, Jerry, Jessalyn, Jessica. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was gonna say same thing over again. I was gonna say Jocelyn again, but you know what? Let's just, just leave. Gotta it retire the Jocelyn. It's a new day. Okay. It's a new day. It's a new J. Jesse. I know what Jesse wants. You ain't got wants. nothing for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, me too, man. I mean, I think that's enough J's for right now. Yeah, true. I need more J's. We watching eyes wide shut. How many of us? We'll probably be canceled and be murdered, but oh, it's okay. They, oh, this is a movie you trying to line me up with? Oh, oh, I'm line us up yeah. with. I've never on. seen it. I'll no, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm hot, y'all. Yeah, yeah. You um, line I'll, up with. Bring, come, bring your ass here. But come to your funerals. Is all right. It's all good. Well, I'm, gonna, mm. I'm gonna tell you, tell me your stories, you know, but not too much of your story because now I'm gonna join y'all. So um, you're I'll, joining I'll us regardless. You're already here. I'll you're in the intro. Here. You're staying. Good, goodbye, y'all. Ain't no goodbye. Give me kill. Um. All right, let's go. With my husband. Oh, how sad. But then I'm sure he's the sort of man who wouldn't mind if we danced. Yes, I would actually. Oh, do Alice. Well, at the moment, I'm looking is this cheating or is this not cheating? I used to manage the whole interaction, yeah. Because you grab him a little like crazy. I don't see, I don't play these type of games. <laughs> what a shame. You go to the function. <laughs> Let a nigga sweet talk you for two seconds and y'all dance and I'm not with it. Now I gotta look at you funny forever. Yeah, word. Oh. She seems so off. Once she started drinking, that one glass, she just became real weird. You stand very deep to his eyes. She must have had some honey or something. Who could have any man in this besides me? Spelled the wallet. N U A L. Yeah, he, 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 <laughs> see, t Tom Cruise is actually being fake. He's like backing up. Me. He's having a conversation uh, with him, but he's like not getting too close. He's trying to. Very kind he keep to backing once. up, like, alright, she's getting too Only close. Once. Did they say what kind of place this was? What kind of party this was? I was doing a photo session. I don't. Session. I didn't no. catch it. Yeah, On a very windy day. Get something in your eye. Uh, just about half of Fifth Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> right. You were such a gentleman. You gave me your handkerchief, which was also clean. <laughs> well, yo, all right. Yo, get, get, get to your wife. I can be. So the time, the timer's running out. I feel like we have to watch. What the hell is going on? Yeah, this gotta be a, some some swinger setup or some. Or just some ritual shit, but uh, Bill, thanks for coming. I feel like I have to show you a devil's advocate now. Uh, what did she take? Uh, speedball or snowball or whatever the hell they call it. You know, it's 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 heroin. Speedball, isn't it? Heroin. Yeah, yeah. He beat me to it. Heroin and coke. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's such an interesting conversation. Yeah, conversation combination because heroin is a downer and coke is a up. How long has she been like this? You, you're gambling with your life. Yeah, you're trying to go in both directions and shit. You are a very, very lucky girl. You're gonna be okay this time. You've been trying to pick a fight with me, and now you're trying to make me jealous. But you're not the jealous type, are you? No, I'm not. You've never been jealous about me, have you? No, I haven't. And why haven't you ever been jealous about me? Well, I don't What's... know, Alice. Maybe because you're my wife. 
Maybe because you're the mother of my child, and I know you would never be unfaithful to me. Just saying vice versa? Like... Might have to get those papers. This is very weird. Hold on, like, did she actually sleep with the guy or not? I don't think it really matters. She was just trying to fuck with his head, and, and I think she uh, succeeded. Succeeded. Bro? No, 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 bro. Don't, don't do it. I don't want to go away with Carl. I don't think you realize what you're saying. I love you. We barely know each other. Darling. I'm so very sorry. Yeah, wow. You people were just... I'm okay. Crazy, man. What is it? Is it the, the thing of being bored or something? Like, I don't know. Like, you, Thank you very much. For if you interact with the same partner or something, is, is that what it is? I don't know. It's crazy. Your father was very proud of you. She was saying, I'll love you to this nigga. You just met the nigga. Comfort these last months. He created a monster, you dumbass. You are stupid. Stupid. You created a monster. He, he he was a nice tame dog. Now he's a he's now he's a dog dog. Buddy, give me a prank. Right, I tell you what, I've already got the password. Just give me the address, and I'll go there by myself, and there won't be any connection between us whatsoever. He's telling you what specialist to speak to. Did you hear something? What on earth is what going the on fuck? here? Oh, I can explain everything. Yo, fuck that idea! I kill you. I promise I kill you. Yo. Have you no sense of decency, gentlemen? Have you no sense of decency? Wait, 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 that's, that's Are you going crazy? We were invited here by the young lady. Young lady, it is my daughter. <laughs> and couldn't you see she is a child? You will have to explain to police. It's now a police matter. You will please stay here until I return. What do you mean? Get us out of here. I'm afraid that's out Nick, of here. I'm breaking the glass. Doctor, um, Yo, little you girl. little whore. Go to bed at once, you depraved creature. I deal with you as soon as I saw the gentleman. Yo, little girl, get out of here. Good evening, sir. Bro, get the fuck away from me. Password, sir. For Debbie. I don't never want to be a part of nothing like this. Yeah, this shit seems like a very weird setup slash lineup, bro. I'm gonna be in line. There's up. a whole ritual going on in front of us. See, the, the, that's why the nigga said, yo, you shouldn't go. See, you shouldn't listen to the nigga. This movie would have ended a lot sooner if you would just stop with the hooker and went back home. <laughs> it's insane, bro. Just petitioning for the hooker. Like. Yo, bro, the life would have been much simpler if he just got out of the system. The post no clarity and just, oh, what am I doing here? Tramp. Oh. That shit is backwards. <laughs> What's well, backwards? The vocals, I think. I think the vocals are backwards. He's playing things back. Oh, he's playing shit backwards. Yeah, they really want to like express titties in this movie. This is weird, bro. See? I'm about to get clipped. Yo, I'll holler at y'all niggas later, y'all. I'm, I'm off this fucking video. Ralph, Ralph's trying to set me up, man. I'm out. You don't belong here. No, I'm sorry. But I think you've mistaken me for someone else. No, nigga, you caught. That's it. Damn it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it's on oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Peoples shit. is on you now. Yo, 
out. She tried to help you, man. Why didn't you listen to her, man? He was just Please. being too careless. Come forward. He made himself so obvious that you did not belong there. You were not invited. I would have just been in the corner and shit, touching a titty or something, pretending. Uh, even then, they they probably recognize him like, yo, who, yo, who, who is that? Like, I feel like <laughs> they could tell he didn't belong there when when they nodded their head at him, and he nodded back. He probably wasn't even supposed to do that. You will kindly remove your mask. No. <laughs> it's a whole setup. Now, get undressed. Oh, nah. <laughs> of course. Stop! Very well, but I warn you. If you make any further inquiries, or if you say a single word to anyone about what you have seen, there will be the most dire consequences for you and your family. You pulling up to the hookah house with Krispy Kreme? Well, considering that you were with Domino last night, mm. I think it would be only fair to you to let you know that um, she got the results of a blood test this morning and uh, it was HIV positive. Oh, man. Ooh, God. Wow. He, well, so, so I guess I was wrong at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, was you was, uh, he was advocating <laughs> for the hooker. Oh, damn. You would have been balls deep in some shit you had no business being in. God, I'm been Magic Johnson. Oh my God, <laughs> I would have been clapped. Oh shit. Because it could cost me my life and possibly yours. Oh, uh, so that, that that was a chick that that was. Yeah. Uh, pause for a sec. I need to grab a pen because I need to. How long we got with this movie? Thirty. Yeah, thirty minutes. I just want to write this shit down because I'm a forget shit. Yeah. So this is his this. patient that he had earlier. I don't, I don't know. Either that or I was the chick that saved it in, in the uh, that party. Yeah, but I don't. He said it was a patient. He said that to get in. So it was the chick from the party. Yep. Uh, that, 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 was, that was the same chick that was trying to save him at, at the party, too? That At that weird party? Sure. Yep. God oh, damn. I, I know what happened last night. What the hell did you think you were doing? Suppose I told you that... that everything that happened to you there... The threats, the, the, the girl's warnings, her last minute intervention. Suppose I said that all of that was staged. The woman lying dead in the morgue was the woman at the party. Yes. Someone died. It happens all the time. Life goes on. It always does. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, like, you not gonna have that much of a reaction? Huh? I'll tell you everything. The important thing is we're awake now. I do. Love you. And you know, there is something very important that we need to do as soon as possible. What's that? Fuck. Oh! 
point? Okay. That that and then was the the the, the punchline was so bad. Was that I don't understand the obsession with sex in the movie and how everyone is so drawn to Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Her saying their eyes are now open and shit, but the mask was on the bed. He's a part of it now, whether he likes it or not. Not really. They, it's not like they brought him in. Just like you know. he had the mask in the bag, and the mask was not there when he went to return the costume. Shows up on his bed. You cannot escape that life now. Now that you're in, you're in. There's no getting out. But what caught my attention was the the news article about the ex beauty queen overdose. That shit is uh interesting. This might get me body, Lord. How many celebrities have we not seen under those circumstances? And this shit is announced a day or two before. And then it'd be like, oh, it's just a rumor, it's a hoax. And then it'd be in the news two days after that. It's a little strange. And the fact that they show that there just, I don't know, got my mind going. So you're saying that um, they like pre announce somebody's passing? You good? Because wasn't that the same chick that was in his um, in his room? And I'm talking about Victor's room. And then she's at the party. Mm-hmm. And right after that, she overdosed. But she overdosed two days before. But it wasn't announced. And now it's announced. And it's like, I don't know. There's something there, though. I just can't articulate my thoughts. Like uh well basically like a fake death. Somewhat, right? It was like they or not faked because they die later. It's just shit was just like lined up in a certain way. Is, is that what you yes. mean? Like? I'm just trying to understand if we if we speak it in metaphors, right? What purpose did Nicole Kidman's character serve? What 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 is she a metaphor for? I don't know. Because I look at the 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 costume dude with his daughter. I look at that as people pimping their kids to the industries and shit, or like Just, auctioning off their really kids. Wanna... Yeah, and. Obviously, you know, that group that he and Tom Cruise stumbled upon is whichever secret society you want it to be. Um, the elite. Yeah, they're they're whoever you want them to be. Illuminati. Um So there's like a bunch of different There's a bunch of different things all in front of this guy's face like I guess that plays on the title like there are different groups all over the place right in front of you these are your neighbors these are people you communicate with and hidden in plain sight yeah and he just happens to stumble into this life But it, I don't know. It's it's weird. I just I just feel like you don't stumble into these, you don't bump shoulders with these people by accident. I don't feel like that type of shit happens. I, I don't know. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Um, I don't really. That's I I don't want to see this movie again though. 
So I'm gonna just yeah, I'm gonna just settle for like a YouTube breakdown or something. This is one of those. But just clip, clip, clip the, these two, okay? I'm good. All right, I'm not gonna say anything else. I I just I thought that he was being scouted in the beginning. I thought so too. If that party was to see whether or not he'd be worthy in that type of society. And it really just didn't work that way. Now, that party in the beginning, it's safe to assume that a good amount of those people were at that uh, masquerade thing. So I don't understand where Tom Cruise fits in any of this. Like, if, if if he wasn't being scouted, why is he even, like, involved in this at all? Mm-hmm. More money. More money for who? For him? For him. I don't know. I don't. I don't think. Well, maybe I just wasn't paying attention to what the purpose of that party was, or like stuff that was said about that party, or it was odd. Like, I mean, that's just that's just how I view things. See, now I have to show you how the devil's advocate. Um, that's just how I, I view like certain um industries like that. Like you bump shoulders with a bunch of weird fucking people, and there's a lot of nasty work going on behind closed doors. And when you when you fresh and you new around the scene, people are gonna like sniff around you, and they're gonna try to like get you in on that little weird habits like I feel like that's definitely a thing it definitely exists on many different scales could just be a bunch of like it could, it could be on the most superficial scale and then there's also like a higher scale like more people of power type thing this is an odd movie though um I uh, I don't know where I sit with this movie. I just this is yeah, it's unusual. It's I don't. Unusual. I really just don't get. Like this nigga's whole world fell apart because his wife planted a seed in his head, and he just started what was her planting that seed in his his head, like a spark to him waking up and taking notice of all the weird shit around him yeah cause if he was so cause if he stayed quote unquote secure with himself he would have just been living his life he would have been fine I guess in a sedated way he would have just been fine but because she she sparked something in him that made him like thrill seek and now this nigga bumped into some, some foolery some shit he's not prepped for. And now he's stuck there. But the thing is, like, it's not like, well, like I said, it's not like they actually brought him in. Like, I guess he failed a test or, or they just like... No, oh, it was he, all set up to... that way. It was all set up that way to have him lured in. The dude was saying that. There was no second password. Uh, weird movie, I but, thought um, I thought he was basically trying to be like, I thought he was trying to kind of like shoot him bail, like yo, if you acknowledge that all that shit was fake, you good. And then he just didn't go along with it, and I'm like, well, these niggas about to clip you now. And then that didn't even happen. And then the cold came with like dreams and shit, like. That for a second I thought that she was Nicole Kidman was at that party and like some weird shit happened where Nicole Kidman was at that party but somehow got home before Tom Cruise did. 
and she was just like one of the girls that were being like you know basically like sex slaves was that supposed to be like human human trafficking I yeah mean, i i'm kind of human uh, trafficking it was more like it was a sex cult basically like some type of sex cult some shit like that the trafficking could have been more so like the costume owner, the costume shop owner, maybe. Yeah, or maybe, that, or maybe those dudes like, that kept going back, those Chinese dudes or whatever they are. Yeah. But um, she was a minor, so. Yeah. No, no, I think I think actually like originally the dude wasn't cool with it, like the father wasn't cool with it, but then they probably had a discussion after Tom Cruise left. They like, talked numbers and. Yeah. There's magic to his fucking ears. Yeah, there's mad parents like that. Nah, I, I could never do that to my child. Like, there's one way or another, somebody's being offered to some type of monster. About to beatbox somebody's face. Or you're, you're, the, to... you're either being given to it or sold to it, or you walk into it, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Um, weird movie. Yeah. No. Don't recommend. <laughs> Shit could go in, in the, the. I period. recommend it absolutely. <laughs> Not. Um, May I, just get your brain going. I just move that to the side of Midsummer. Um, I'll never see you again. So. <laughs> Bye. All right. Uh, yeah. So yeah, y'all. I'm. I'm gonna go to your funerals though. So. so Devil's Advocate next, right? Boom. Devil's Advocate. Keanu Reeves, Al Pacino. Boom. Grab. Shit, as long as you do know. Real haters, baby. Real haters. I guess. Whatever. Hopefully we're here next week. Bye. <laughs>